Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we would like to talk about we would like to talk about the torque experienced by a dipole when placed in a uniform electric field. First of all uniform means it is equal everywhere. It's not a variable electric field rather it is a constant electric field throughout the space. Dipole means a combination of two charges of equal in uh, magnitude opposite in nature separated by a certain small distance and a torque is the turning effect because of this force of this electric field the dipole is going to experience a turning effect. Let us consider an electric field first of all. Let this is an electric field. Let it is vertically in upward direction uniform represented with a letter E. Electric field or electric intensity is defined as the force experienced by a unit positive charge electric field. Because you have kept a electric field, any charged particle will automatically experience a force. We know E equal to F by Q, therefore the force experienced by it is nothing but equal to EQ. Because of this force, even if we keep the dipole flat, that is horizontal, it is not going to stay horizontal, rather its position is going to change. Why it will change like this? Say if this is a positive charge, if this is a negative charge, we know that a positive charge experiences the force along the direction of the field, whereas a negative charge experiences the force against the direction of the field. So here there is a force EQ, here also there is a force EQ. You need to be clear that there is no resultant force, so there is no translatory motion, only there is a turning effect. And this body is trying to turn like this, this force. This force is also trying to turn like this as a whole. The dipole turns, it experiences a torque. And I would like to calculate what is that torque is. So we know the distance of the dipole is generally treated like 2A. Means treating this as a center, this is A and this is A, another A. Together it is 2A. Let us assume that because of this force, now dipole is making an angle theta with the applied electric field in the vertical direction. I want to calculate torque. I know the formula for the torque. Probably you might remember torque is defined as when there is a couple two forces acting, any one force multiplied by perpendicular distance between the two forces, perpendicular distance between the two forces. So if you see this distance is definitely not a perpendicular distance. How do I get a perpendicular distance if I draw a perpendicular line? If I draw something like this, then if I call this as x, this x is the perpendicular distance. So, what is the formula for the torque is? Any one force out of the pair of the forces acting by the perpendicular distance x. But I do not know the value of that x. I need to calculate that x. I know if this is theta, this angle also becomes a theta. This x is an opposite side, whereas 2a is nothing but the hypothesis of that right angle triangle. Then I can write sin theta basing on the definition of trigonometry opposite side x by hypothesis hypothesis is nothing but equal to 2 a like nothing but the length of the dipole so i can write x as 2 a sin theta if i know the x i can substitute it and get the value of torque torque tau is equal to eq into x x is nothing but equal to 2 a sin theta I can rewrite this as Q into 2A which is defined as nothing but a electric dipole moment. Electric dipole moment is defined as a product of distance of the dipole with any of one charge. And what is remaining is E sin theta. So I can write this as P E sin theta. This is the magnitude. So we can express this torque as cross product of P bar cross E bar because it is A B sin theta means it is a cross product of two vectors A and B. So this is how, how can I find a magnitude. Suppose if you are interested in finding out the direction 
we can find it out quite easily we can find the direction for that for finding the direction we can use a rule like a right hand thumb rule or a corkscrew rule so if i because torque is a vector i want to find its direction to find torque direction we can use corkscrew rule of the vectors or the right hand thumb rule of the vectors both of them are same no, no problem we can use any of them let's find out how do we use this corkscrew rule it is simple let us imagine a nail let us imagine a nail it is the head of the nail let this is the tip of the nail this is how the screws of that nail are let this is the p this is e i want to find out p bar cross e bar to get p bar cross e bar i shall rotate the head of the screw from p bar to a bar p bar to e bar so you are rotating it like this as you are rotating it like this it obviously moves in upward direction in a perpendicular plane that's the direction of the torque torque bar is nothing but p bar cross e bar if you want say for example e bar cross p bar we have to rotate the head like this then that uh, tip of the nail don't moves in upward direction rather it moves in a downward direction if this is e bar this is p bar if you want to know the direction of e bar cross b bar this is its direction it is equal in magnitude but in the opposite direction that's why we say the cross product of the vectors doesn't obey the commutative law of course once if you got a formula for the torque we can further simplify and say if theta is zero that means if this angle is zero that means dipole is along the direction of the field there is no torque at all because sin zero is zero so torque is zero if theta is 90 perpendicular then the torque is maximum because sin theta is maximum torque is nothing but pe in terms of magnitude where pe is electric dipole and e is the electric field intensity right thank you we will continue this discussion further